I'm here to tell you a story about a woman who hated herself. Not because she was poor or ugly, not because she was orphaned or homeless, but she just did. And I'm here to tell you about the story of a man who hated his life. He dreaded every moment of it. Woke up each day to the burdens of the world dwelling heavily on his thin shoulders. They had it all. Cars, money, mansions, you name it. They'd done it all before. Drugs, alcohol, ecstasy, mountain climbing, skydiving, but their souls were sad. The holes in their hearts kept widening and tears kept falling from their eyes when they were alone. They were the real definition of miserable. Every step of their lives were monitored by society, so they had to follow the approval matrix, conform to society's rules and regulations. The flying tie was suffocating him, those high heels were killing her feet, the heat in the suit, the tightness of the corset, just to achieve that approved physical appearance of a lady. She starves. Yet each night she would empty her plate into the bin because she knows even if her body doesn't reject it, she will empty it out into the bathroom sink herself. Anorexia, conformity. He drowns himself in alcohol each night because the sleeping pills don't help. He knows he cannot have his own dream in his own sleep, but that is dreams. Every step of their lives were determined for them right from birth. Usually you're expected to go to a good school, get a good job, settle down and have kids. So she had to marry into money and he had to marry into power and position. There was no love, no love, no love, but duty. And they listened to the voices. They told them that there was no need to bring the family name to shame. No daughter of mine will marry a comedian. No son of mine will marry a dancer. They had to give up on their dreams. But all she wanted to do was to soil her hands with paint and paint a new world where she could be free to fly. And all he wanted to do was to write sweet, sweet poetry. He wanted to tell the tale of the African woman about her beauty, about her strength and her struggles. But the painter inside her was suppressed. And the writer inside him was suppressed. Suppressed because mommy says to be a doctor and daddy says to be an engineer. Suppressed until their own selves started disappearing. And they became only strange soulless beings, wandering the earth in color counting the days to their welcome end. You see, the reward for conformity is that everyone will like you except yourself. So live for you and live for your dreams. Don't give up on your passions because you have to please society or anyone else. Just go for it because you are exceedingly powerful.